Hey guys, welcome to Tech Talks by Gaurav Sharma. Today we're going to talk about something different. Today we're going to talk about anatomy of having a relationship with somebody who is very possessive and very controlling. Having a relationship with such person, one thing is given that there is no trust in the relationship. And now let's think about how the psychology of this person works, right? So a person that's very controlling and and uh, very possessive um, how how do they how do they how does that work right when you get into a relationship with them initially everything is good right they want to hang out with your friends your friends are their friends they want to hang out at the, your favorite spot um, they would even eat sushi uh, as their favorite food if you said so and you know that's that's the part of establishing the trust right they're getting into a relationship and once they get into a relationship everything starts to change right they you're not not all your friends are their friends anymore they would only allow you to actually you know meet with the friends that they feel comfortable with or they trust right and and as if this was not already not enough they you have to prove your loyalty to them over and over again right if there is anything uh different about you're too happy you're too sad you're you're, you're supposed to be in the office, but you're calling from a gas station, right? They, they throw a fit at, at, at it, and then you have to prove your loyalty to them again. So you have to keep providing them the, that, hey, hey, I still love you, you're still in a relationship to keep that relationship intact. And on top of it, if you did something shady behind their back, or if they thought you did something shady behind their back, they're gonna, uh, you know the doors to ho uh, hell would throw open right They're they're gonna want to control you to maybe ground you or do whatever to kind of fix that whatever you did in personal human life right personal relationship it's a nightmare it's just a madhouse to have a, a relationship with somebody like this but not in IT world right in IT world if you have a partner or a IAM partner that is controlling and possessive about every action that the users take in your organization that's your key that's your ticket to the zero trust journey for your organization now let's revisit the psychology of the person with how the i am partner does that in cisco world that controlling and possessive partner is cisco duo and now let's think about how the psychology of these uh crazy people works right First, the the trust gets established, right? For they want to learn, a duo learns about the context and the posture of the environment. Step two is providing a very conditional access, trust-based access only. Uh, anything that duo trust is what you're gonna get access to. The rest of everything gets blocked, like your friends. And third thing is the continuous monitoring, right? Now you cannot if once the trust is established but anything about you changes say you're you're um now you're working from a coffee shop versus of where you're supposed to be working from or you're logging in from a different computer you're supposed to be logging in from a macbook but you're logging in from a windows machine you would have to prove the trust again to do it to ensure everything is looking good and the fourth thing is response to the change in trust right if something changes about how you deal uh you deal with things how you access things duo is going to come in and do like a prioritize like an incident response to ensure that whatever uh, change has been made it, it gets remediated as soon as possible so now with the acquisition of ord it has become a game changer because now think of that possessive and controlling partner is not only just an evil person but also is an undercover agent meaning now this partner this partner this person has the ability to kind of go out to your friends whoever you you talk to whatever wherever you go to kind of look into it dig dig deeper into what they do how they work and tell you like provide you like a risk analysis on your friends that hey this guy's got a gambling problem versus that guy has got an alcohol problem. So it's providing with all the risks uh, to you that, hey, you're you're hanging out with them. These are the risks. Now now you need to take a wise action on how you, you kind of uh, communicate with them. The same thing 
happens in IT as well. Org enables the identity attack surface management, meaning now you're able to uh, look at things like uh, on my left, you, you, you see here, uh, actually on my right, uh, you know, it shows you the overall like the health of your uh, identity environment, right? If there are any inconsistencies, if there are any inactive users you want to know about. So it provides you with all that information. So if you want to learn more and if you want to bring such con uh, such a possessive and controlling and undercover partner in your IT, not in your personal life, in your IT environment, then please reach out to your accounts team and they'll hook you up. Thank you.